Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1790, the Principality of Liechtenstein is created within the Holy Roman Empire. In 1739, Richard Palmer is identified at York Castle by his former school teacher as the outlaw Dick Turpin. In 1789, Georgetown University, the first Catholic university in the United States, is founded in Georgetown, Maryland, which is now part of Washington, D.C. In 1813, the first U.S. raw cotton-to-cloth mill is founded in Waltham, Massachusetts. In 1822, Boston, Massachusetts was granted a charter to become a city. In 1836, the Alamo is besieged by Santa Ana's Mexican army. In 1855, the first bridge over the Mississippi River opens in what is now Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, the Hennepin Avenue Bridge is in that spot. In 1861, President-elect Abraham Lincoln arrives secretly in Washington, D.C., after the thwarting of an alleged assassination plot in Baltimore, Maryland. In 1870, in Montana, U.S. Cavalrymen kill 173 Native Americans, mostly women and children, in what becomes known as the Marias Massacre. Also in 1870, Mississippi was readmitted to the United States following the American Civil War. In 1883, Alabama becomes the first U.S. state to enact an antitrust law. In 1836, the Times of London publishes the world's first classified ad. I wonder what the guy was selling. In 1887, the French Riviera is hit by a large earthquake, killing around 2,000 people. In 1892, the first college student government forms at Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. In 1896, the awesome Tootsie Roll is invented. In 1897, in Greenbrier County, West Virginia, Elba Zona Hester is found dead today, having been killed by her husband. During his murder trial, the alleged testimony of a ghost helped secure a conviction. In 1903, Cuba leases Guantanamo Bay to the United States in perpetuity. Castro was never a fan of that agreement, I imagine. In 1904, the United States acquires control of the Panama Canal Zone for $10 million. In 1905, the first Rotary Club was founded in Chicago. In 1910, in Philadelphia, the first radio contest is held. I wonder which caller you had to be. In 1917, the February Revolution begins in Russia, which resulted in the demise of the Russian Empire. In 1919, the Fascist Party is formed in Italy by Benito Mussolini. In 1920, the Netherlands refuses to surrender the exiled German Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany to the Allies. In 1921, the first U.S. transcontinental airmail flight arrives in New York City from San Francisco. In 1927, President Calvin Coolidge signs a bill establishing what would become the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC. In 1934, Casey Stengel becomes the manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers. In 1940, Walt Disney's animated movie Pinocchio is released. In 1941, Charles Lindbergh testifies before the U.S. Congress recommending that the United States negotiate a neutrality pact with Adolf Hitler. Also in 1941, plutonium is first produced and isolated by Dr. Glenn T. Seaborg. In 1942, Japanese submarines fire artillery shells at the California coastline near Santa Barbara. In 1943, the great Duke Ellington plays at Carnegie Hall in New York City for the very first time. In 1944, the Soviet Union begins the forced deportation of the Chechen and English people from the North Caucasus to Central Asia. In 1945, six U.S. servicemen raised the American flag over Mount Suribachi on the island of Iwo Jima during World War II. You've seen the iconic picture, I'm sure. In 1947, the International Standardization Organization, also called the ISO, begins operating. Also in 1947, U.S. General Eisenhower creates a drive to raise $170 million in aid for European Jews. In 1950, the Israeli parliament passes a resolution that states Jerusalem is now the capital of Israel. In 1954, the first mass inoculation against polio occurs. In 1957, American inventor Walter Frederick Morrison sells the rights to his flying disc to the Whammo Toy Company today. 
They later rename it the Frisbee. Also in 1957, Mr. Wonderful closes at the Broadway Theater in New York City after 383 performances. In 1963, Luciano Pavarotti makes his debut at the Vienna State Opera in La Triviata. In 1964, the 24th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution prohibiting the use of poll taxes in national elections is ratified. Also in 1964, Charlie Finlay signs a four-year lease to keep Major League Baseball's A's in Kansas City. In 1965, British-born comedian Stan Laurel of the comedy team Laurel and Hardy died at the age of 74, a huge loss. In 1968, Wilt Chamberlain becomes the first NBA player to score 25,000 points. In 1971, George Harrison is fined and his driver's license is suspended for one year. In 1973, U.S. President Richard Nixon announces that a peace accord has been reached in Vietnam. In 1974, the Symbionese Liberation Army demands $4 million more to release kidnapped victim Patty Hearst. In 1975, in response to the energy crisis, daylight savings time begins nearly two months early in the United States. In 1976, baseball owners announced that spring training won't open without a labor contract. In 1978, the 20th Grammy Awards occurred today. The Eagles Hotel California, Fleetwood Mac, and Debbie Boone are among the winners. In 1979, Frank Peterson Jr. is named the first black general in Marine Corps history. In 1980, Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khomeini states that Iran's parliament will decide the fate of the American embassy hostages. Also in 1980, an oil tanker explosion off Pylos, Greece causes a 37 million gallon spillage. In 1981, People magazine features a story of the drug ordeal of Mackenzie and Papa John Phillips. In 1983, the United States Environmental Protection Agency announces its intent to buy out and evacuate the dioxin-contaminated community of Times Beach, Missouri. Also in 1983, the New Jersey Generals sign Heisman Trophy winner Herschel Walker to a three-year, $5 million deal. In 1985, today is the day that Indiana basketball coach Bobby Knight famously throws a chair during a game. In 1986, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducts its first members, Little Richard, Chuck Berry, James Brown, Ray Charles, Fats Domino, the Everly Brothers, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Elvis Presley. In 1987, Supernova 1987A is seen in the large Magellanic Cloud. In 1988, Chicago gives the Cubs the right to install lights and play up to 18 night games per season. In 1990, En Vogue's single Hold On is released and becomes Billboard's Song of the Year. In 1991, ground troops cross the Saudi Arabian border and enter Iraq, beginning the ground phase of the Gulf War. Also in 1991, North Carolina is the first NCAA basketball team to win 1,500 games. In 1993, child star Gary Coleman wins a $1,280,000 lawsuit against his parents due to them charging high fees to be his managers. In 1995, the Dow Jones closes above 4,000 for the first time ever. In 1996, the film Train Spotting opens today. In 1997, Greek serial killer Antonis Douglas is sentenced to 13 consecutive life sentences plus 25 years for the slayings of three women and attempted murder of six others. Also in 1997, Madeleine Albright becomes the first woman to serve as the U.S. Secretary of State. And also in 1997, NBC TV shows the movie Schindler's List, completely uncensored. 65 million people watch it. In 1998, Osama bin Laden publishes a fatwa declaring jihad against all Jews and the people of Europe and the United States, also referred to as Crusaders. Also in 1998, the U.S. Supreme Court lets Megan's Law stand. It allows for the publication of sex offender information. In 1999, hip-hop artist Eminem releases his first major record album, the Slim Shady LP. In 2000, Mexican-born American musician Carlos Santana won eight Grammy Awards for his album Supernatural, tying the record set by Michael Jackson. In 2002, American Taliban John Walker Lind 
returns to the United States in FBI custody. Also in 2002, reporter Daniel Pearl is kidnapped in Karachi, Pakistan and subsequently murdered. In 2002 as well, the 3,600-year-old sky disk of Nebra, which is the world's oldest map of the stars, is recovered in a police sting operation after being illegally excavated in Germany. In 2003, the final communication between Earth and Pioneer 10 happens today. In 2005, a new French law requires schools to teach the positive values of colonialism. After public outcry, it is repealed at the beginning of 2006. In 2008, the B-2 Spirit of the United States Air Force crashes in Guam. The crew survives, but the $1.2 billion aircraft was completely destroyed, making it the most expensive air crash in aviation history. In 2010, unknown criminals cause an environmental disaster by pouring more than 2.5 million liters of diesel oil and other hydrocarbons into the River Lambro in northern Italy. In 2013, the 33rd Razzie Awards are today. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 wins. In 2014, the 56th Daytona 500 runs today. Dale Earnhardt Jr. breaks a 55-race winless streak to win his second Great American Race. In 2018, a study published in Science Journal suggests that the earliest European Paleolithic artwork in Spain was made by Neanderthals and not humans. In 2020, African-American Amon Arbery is shot to death after being chased down by two white men in Brunswick, Georgia. Video of the killing emerges in May, prompting arrests. Also in 2020, President Moon Jae-in puts South Korea on high alert, empowering the government to lock down cities after 602 cases of COVID-19 are reported today with six deaths. Also in 2020, China describes the country's COVID-19 outbreak as their largest health emergency since 1949. And lastly, in 2021, the discovery of the oldest Australian rock art, a 17,300-year-old painting of a kangaroo, is published in Nature Human Behavior. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I've got a lot more content out there and a whole bunch more coming. See you soon.